the President will speak to the historical significance of January 6th and what it means for the country one year later. Uh, on Thursday, the President is going to speak to the truth of what happened, not the lies that some have spread since, and the peril it has posed to the rule of law and our system of democratic governments, governance. President Trump's role in subverting our Constitution, attempting to block the peaceful transfer of power and defending a mob that attacked our capital and law enforcement has been well documented. And it's something, obviously, the president spoke about in terms of that being one of the worst days in our democracy. Does he consider ex-President Trump to be a threat to democracy? I think he's spoken to this in the past. Okay. Um, on the same issue, but a little more broadly, uh, the polls keep showing again and again that something like 70% of Trump voters think the election uh, was rigged, that President Biden is not legitimate, and so on. Um, is there anything that President Biden feels he should have already done, or is there anything he feels he still can do to actually talk directly to those people and try and get you know, people's reality to match a bit more in this country? I think what uh, he's going to continue to do is speak to everyone in the country, those who didn't vote for him, those who may not believe he is the legitimate president, about what he wants to do to make their lives better. And he sees that as his responsibility as the president of the United States. That's what he will continue to do.